The anime begins by showing a young man named Leonardo Watch, who is undergoing his profession as an intern field journalist. That day, Leo came to a restaurant to relax and take a break. While at the restaurant, Leo introduced himself to one of the waitress who was there as an intern journalist. Then after the waitress heard Leo's hungry stomach, the waitress decided to feed Leo for free. While enjoying a cup of black coffee, Leo turned on his camera to review the photos he had managed to take. The images captured by Leo's camera look very unique and good, which indicates that Leo does have the talent to be a photographer. But suddenly, a white monkey appeared and grabbed Leo's camera and ran away with the camera. Leo immediately ran out of the restaurant to chase the white monkey. During a chase, Leo accidentally encounters a large muscular man who is carrying out a bank robbery downtown. Leo almost died from the bomb explosion and the commotion the man had created. Leo's bodies and the white monkey he was chasing were flung simultaneously into the middle of the road. Just as Leo was about to retrieve his camera, a white-haired man named Zap Renfro suddenly appeared. Zap mistook Leo for part of the action of the criminals who were carrying out a bank robbery at the time, so he immediately arrested Leo. Surprisingly, Leo didn't fight back at all when Zap accused him of being a robber. Zap takes Leo to the LIBRA organization's headquarters. The LIBRA organization is an organization made up of talented people who have special abilities to fight crime and protect the citizens of New York City from the threat of various supernatural beings. New York City at this time has changed to Helsalane's lot because this city has become a meeting place for the human world with the other world since the portal of the supernatural world opened. Helsalane's lot is often visited by various supernatural beings such as monsters, demons, ghouls, and magical creatures. The leader in the LIBRA organization is a half-wolf or wolverine man named Klaus von Reinhers, and one of the LIBRA organization members who happened to be in the office at that time was Chain Sumeragi, a female wolverine. Upon arriving at the base, Zap who realized that he had misunderstood by mistaking Leo for a criminal, became annoyed with Leo. Leo then explained the reason why he didn't come clean and instead admitted to being a criminal who had co-robbed a bank in the city center. Leo said that he recognized Zap as a member of the LIBRA organization and he was very curious about the organization that used to protect the world's inhabitants from evil in special ways. Moments later, the television at LIBRA's headquarters broke information about the bank robbers that had been caught. However, the television broadcast was suddenly hijacked by a criminal named Femt. Fent is an enemy who has been hunted by the LIBRA organization for various crimes he has committed in the past. In the broadcast, Fent claimed to have intentionally sent a white monkey as a trap for the LIBRA organization. A giant white shadow appeared from the white monkey and directly attacked the LIBRA organization's headquarters building until the building split apart. Fortunately, Leo, Zap, Chain, and Klaus managed to avoid the ruins of the building and were able to survive the danger. After that, Leo then explained that he had a special ability called the All-Seeing Eyes of the Gods ability. This ability allows one to be able to see supernatural beings that cannot be seen with ordinary human eyes. Leo's God Eyes ability can also see events in the future and the past. He also explained the incident that gave him this ability. A few years ago, when Leo was on vacation with his little sister, Leo accidentally saw a strange creature that appeared when he was trying to take a photo of his sister. The creature was shaped like a giant monster with many eyes on its body. The monster threatens Leo to give something in exchange for the god's eyes ability that he will give Leo. Leo tried to resist, but he couldn't say a word and couldn't move his body at all. Leo's younger sister who can also see the monster then sacrifices herself by giving her sight to the monster so that Leo can be released. After explaining all that, Zap then invited Leo to chase the white monkey that had previously attacked the LIBRA building and run away. On their way to chase the white monkey, Zap and Leo are confronted by a giant creature so Zap must defeat him first. Meanwhile, Leo was asked to go first and chase the white monkey. After successfully finding the white monkey, Leo tried to look at it and found that there was a small object inside the monkey's head that controlled the white monkey. The white monkey became docile and obedient to Leo after Leo threw the controller away. From that day on, Leo officially became a member of the LIBRA organization. Mr. Klaus assigns Zap to look after and supervise Leo because Leo is still relatively new to the organization. What's more, if Leo's God's Eyes abilities were discovered by supernatural beings, then Leo would be targeted and hunted down. While Zap and Leo were on patrol around the city, Leo accidentally saw a giant monster disguised as a traveling laundry car. When the giant monster realized that Leo knew about the disguise, it immediately chased after Leo and Zap. After successfully chasing them, the monster took Leo into the laundry car. Leo saw many humans who were still alive trapped in plastic packages like laundry clothes. 
Leo initially panicked because he had no fighting ability at all. But Leo finally found a brilliant idea, namely by influencing and manipulating the monster's mind so that the monster was confused and could not control his own mind. It made the monster start to sway and lose its way. Meanwhile, the other members of the LIBOR organization are still having a hard time locating Leo and the monster because of the monster's illusory abilities. Fortunately, when the monster began to sway, Zap was able to detect the presence of the monster's location with his magical blood ability, so that Mr. Klaus and the other LIBOR members could immediately go to that location to save Leo. With the combined strength of the few LIBOR members present, they were all able to defeat the gigantic monster with ease. However, Leo had to be affected by the fight and was injured badly enough that he had to be taken to the hospital. A few days later after undergoing treatment at the hospital, Leo finally recovered and was able to get around the hospital to get some fresh air. As Leo walked through the cemetery next to the hospital grounds, he accidentally met a beautiful girl named Mary Macbeth or who was usually called White. White is one of the hospital's permanent patients who has been hospitalized for three years due to a fairly serious illness. White doesn't have many opportunities to meet and get to know new people. That's why White was very happy and excited when she met Leo and immediately asked Leo to be her friend. One day, when Leo was about to go home by subway, Leo accidentally met a mysterious young man with glasses. With his God's Eyes ability, Leo could see that the young man had a blood-red aura that formed wings. After Leo talked about his experience to the other LIBOR members, their faces turned serious and then explained to Leo that the creature he met on the train earlier was a vampire. The next day, Leo is asked to look at ancient writing that is on a paper held by a vampire's hand. In the writing, there is information about the location inhabited by the vampires. After finding out the inscription, Leo and the other LIBOR members immediately went to a location known to be a den of vampires. The LIBOR member assigned to eradicate the vampires thought that the number of vampires in that place was only a dozen or tens of vampires. But after Leo tried to see the place with his God's Eyes ability, it turned out that the number of vampires in that place was hundreds to thousands. Even Leo's eyes that were unable to contain the amount of vampire aura present in the place became injured and bloody. The following night, Leo visited the hospital to take White to see a movie together in the city park. Actually, White's condition was still weak enough that she was forbidden to leave the hospital, but Leo managed to take White out secretly. While watching the movie, White got emotional and started to shed tears. Seeing this, Leo tried to calm White down and comfort her. The next day when Leo returned to the hospital, he met White's older brother named William Macbeth or more commonly known as Black. When he saw Black, Leo began to remember the person he had seen on the train and immediately recognized Black as that person. Surprisingly, Black confesses that it's the first time he's seen Leo and doesn't seem to remember anything about the incident on the subway a few days ago. While having lunch together at a fast food restaurant, Leo learns that it turns out that White has a heart disease that is so weak that she has to be hospitalized regularly. During that conversation, Black inadvertently displayed his power to stop time for a few seconds. One day, Zap sent a message to Mr. Klaus that he was in danger. Therefore, Mr. Klaus invited Leo to go to the location that Zap had told him about. After arriving at the location, Klaus and Leo began to realize that it was a place to fight, and Zap purposely brought them there so they could fight. The money from the fight will later be used by Zap to pay off all his debts to the place's owner. Klaus was forced to face several fighters in the arena. All the fighters that Klaus is fighting against can be easily defeated by Klaus so the audience is very excited to see this. Even the owner who also participated in being an opponent for Mr. Klaus was also defeated by him. The scene switches to the moment where Femt is having an encounter with some monsters in his hideout. Surprisingly, Black was also in the meeting. It turns out that Black has another soul in his body that has an evil character named Blank. Blank and Black don't share the same memories, so when Black's soul takes over his body, he doesn't remember anything about Blank at all. After the meeting, Blank went to the hospital to see White. Blank then asked White to help him take over the God's Eyes ability from Leo. In exchange, Blank will leave Black's body and let Black's soul return to his body. White felt very sad, but she had no other choice but to obey Blank's words so that she could save her brother. In the afternoon, White invites Leo to meet at a church. When Leo arrived, White immediately put on the iron glasses that Blank had previously given her to put on Leo's eyes. After the glasses were on, Leo screamed in pain and fell limply. The glasses turn out to be used to take Leo to another world so Blank can take Leo's power. Leo tried hard to get out of the other world created by Blank, but still failed. Meanwhile, in the human world, Femt and his army are making a commotion in the middle of the city so all LIBOR members are busy trying to defeat Femt's gang and protect the townspeople. 
After quite a long effort, Leo was finally able to get out of the other world. Leo looked surprised to see the human world was experiencing destruction everywhere. At the same time, the white monkey came to see Leo and gave him a camera that contained a recording of White asking Leo for help. Through the tape, Leo finally learns that White has died. Seeing this, Leo immediately rushed to deal with this mess and tried to defeat Blank. Leo tries to track down Blank's whereabouts with his remaining God's Eyes abilities. On the way to Blank's location, Leo must face hundreds of zombies that stand in his way. Fortunately, members of the Libra organization helped Leo to get through and defeat all the zombies. On the other hand, Klaus, who was the first to find Blank's whereabouts, immediately attacked Blank. Mr. Klaus tried to fight Blank with all the strength he had, but that effort still couldn't beat Blank. When Leo arrived at the place, Leo could see Black's soul was crying for help so that Blank could be removed from his body. Leo immediately summoned White Soul and brought her together with Black Soul in his body, so she could attract Black Soul to take control of the body. It turned out that the method worked, and Black Soul was able to take over his own body again. Mr. Klaus who saw Leo's success, looked very proud of Leo. Hearing Mr. Klaus praise and words, Leo was moved and couldn't hold back his tears anymore. The anime closes with a scene where Leo sends a letter to his younger sister about how he is currently, so that his sister doesn't feel worried about him. This anime teaches us to appreciate supernatural phenomena and the natural surroundings, because the creatures that inhabit this earth are not only humans, there are many other creatures that we do not know about.